Hi, this is Anne with My Service Depot. In today's video, we're going to see how we can set up and use items to collect payment from the field. Inside of QuickBooks, we're going to start by going to Lists. Inside of my item list, I'll see that I already have a few payments already set up. We're going to go ahead and create a new one by going to Item and New. In here, we'll select our payment type. And we'll give our item a name. We'll call this one check. I'm going to use the description fields to collect further information that might be important for when we have a check in hand and need to match it to an invoice. So what is the name on the check as well as what is the check number? For payment method, you can associate what type of payment this will be. This is where we can indicate whether it's going to be cash, what kind of credit card, or of course check. The last step will be to associate where will this go to. Is it going to undeposited funds or will it be deposited into a bank account we have set up? Once we hit OK, we'll see that it's added to our item list. Now we need to put it into Smart Service. By going to File inside of Smart Service, select Get Lists. It's going to run through several prompts here and update that information. Depending on the size of your lists, it may take a few minutes. Now that it's in Smart Service, we can start using it inside of iFleet as well. On my device, we'll go ahead and enter the job that I'm applying payment to. We'll see that a few line items have already been added, giving us a job total. To add my payment, I'll hit the plus sign where I add my items and search for the appropriate payment type. This may be a check, credit card, or cash, depending on what you set up. I can then update my information for how much the payment's for. Keep in mind, this may be a full or partial payment that you're applying. Once I've entered my information, simply hit Done and close this screen. We'll see the payment reflect as a negative, zeroing out the account balance. This information will then push back to Smart Service for our invoice. For more tips and tricks, follow us at smartservice.com.